Can you see what I've got to part with? Listen, I don't know what I've done. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know what I've done. Say nothing. Take, take two. <laughs> this is James Hilda for IFL TV in association with Matt Cleans, Jim Marbella. I'm in an iBox gym today in Bromley. With me, I've got undefeated Darrell Williams. What's up, Darrell? You alright? How you doing, mate? I'm good. I'm right. good. I didn't expect you to see, see you in the iBox gym today, to be honest. Uh, well, to be fair, <clears throat> signed up here about probably about a month and a bit now. Been mm -hmm. here. So, um, yeah, it's going well. You know, um, needed to change, needed to be with the right team, the professional background, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's working out well, it's working out, I've, I've improved already, you know, it's working out well. 7-0, and joining the gym, good record, fighting in a great division, the super middleweight division, do you think that iBox gym can push you on to, to, to good honours? Definitely, de definitely, you know, it's a couple... <laughs> <laughs> That's my trainer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely, you know, you can definitely, being in there is pushing me already, you know, the motivation is different, you know, the training is different, the fitness I'm doing is completely different, you know what I mean, and it's, it's, it's proper boxing, you know, I'm not, I'm not on the back seat in there, you know, and, and it's good for me, it, it's good for me to be around top fighters as well, where I'm watching them and I'm watching what they got and it's inspiring me too. Doing in the new camp, Who, who's impressed you the most in the gym out of the other boxers? Um, Put you on the spot here a little Yeah. <laughs> um, to be honest, for me, and I think it's because probably more of the way that I fight as well, it's Adam Dingsell. You know, he, I, I love the way he fights. You know, he's got a lot of heart, a lot of character as well. You know what I mean? He's a funny guy. He's a naturally funny guy. <laughs> he's just a naturally funny guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, you know, yeah, I, I love the way, way he fights. He comes forward, you know, uh, he ain't afraid to take a hit. You know, and it's a bit similar to myself as well, you know, and, and that's probably why mainly, you know, like I'm very enthusiastic about him. Yeah. Last time I saw you out was at the Cannon Centre. Great yeah. performance for yourself. Stoppage victory as well. Yeah. When can we anticipate seeing you out in action again? Um, I will be out on the 21st of November, um, back at the Cannon Centre as well, you know, so that will be eight. It's going to be eight and all, you know, so we're just going to we're just gonna keep it going. We're just going to keep piling on top. You know, and now I'm with a good team, we're negotiating some things. Hopefully we'll get a Masters title next next year, probably. You know what I mean? I'm not really going to ask for anything, you know, like I've said before. You know, I'll let it come when it comes. Of course. You know? What do you think of the super middleweight division in the UK at the moment? Um, to be honest, I don't really, I don't really like to speak on anyone and I don't really like to befriend anyone in my weight category because... Yeah. You know, I look at it like everyone is a target, you know, yeah. and me, me befriending someone and being friendly with someone creates an opening for a bit of weakness, and I don't do that. So you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about anyone in this in, in my weight division. You know, what I mean, if you want to have a fight, we'll have a fight, and it's as simple as that. You know, uh, I think, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very good weight category. You know, there's a lot of hard hitters in it, but you won't touch me. Mm -hmm. you, won't, you won't be able to hit me. So that, then that's, that's how I keep it. Five, six fights from now, you could be mixing with some of these top level fighters. Bring them on. Bring them on. I, I, I'm at that level. I, I, I've been inspired with top fighters from but even before I was pro. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, you know, they all know me. They've all, they've all been in there and they've all seen and witnessed what I'm capable of. You know, and um, you know, not, I, I take off my hat to everyone in that, that's at my way. I don't disrespect anyone, but bring it on. Is that your message to rest the super middleweight? So? <laughs> that's my message. Bring it on, whoever it is. I don't care. Bring it on. All right. Well, listen, I'm going to catch up with you again from a month from now. See how you're settling in and that. Yep. Follow the journey a bit more. Thanks for a bit of your time, mate. Yep. And I'll catch you again real soon. Sweet. Thanks. Thanks.